Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Satisfactory, this episode number seven. Now, you may be saying to yourself, or to me, Zisto, what about that waterfall? You wanted this base to be all about viewing that waterfall, and I can't see it. Your base is in the way. And I would say, you're sort of right, but your thinking is flawed. Because, at the moment, we're not really real. We're in the middle of a mirage, which makes us part of the mirage. We're a figment of our own imagination. We barely exist. Now, if you want to view paradise, you can't do it from a mirage. You can only view it from a satisfactory place, which is over there. This is not satisfactory, and that is. But yeah, the base has gotten a little bit bigger. I've added more machines. Anywho, let's do some research. I've had this MAM sitting here for a while. There are some research trees. Maybe we should start diving down them a little bit more regularly. Medicinal inhaler. I mean, we're doing this one next. Start research. Five, oh, okay. Five minutes. We have five minutes to burn. All right, maybe we'll do some work on the base. So, the base has grown. Last episode, we had laid out all the constructors, which create items from single ingredients. And I have laid out all the assemblers now, which create ingredients from... Which create items from two ingredients. They're all on the top level there. And there are more belts. There's more things going here and there. They're going to add four or five new ingredients to our storage center. But with the base this big, we could really use a nice way to get up there. I do have the staircase here, and there are some ways to get up from within it, but they're not terribly convenient. We can use these, these pillar uh, ladder things. They're not very convenient either. They're kind of slow and janky. In here, in the hub... In tier 4, there are these guys, Hyper Tubes. This is new with the most recent update, Update 3. They seem really awesome, like super cool. And so, I'm not going to unlock them, because I think if I did unlock them, they're going to be so cool, and so fun, and so convenient, really. That's the big problem, so convenient, that I am not going to want to use the jump pads anymore. So we need to get our miles worth, our mileage, or uh, bang for our buck out of the jump pad. So when we want to get up to the base, we're going to do it like this. Up to the top. Up step. There are, I don't remember exactly how many of these guys are here, but they are going to add 285 additional megawatts to our base, which is actually not that much. Not that big a deal. Bam! Isn't that, that's, isn't that fun? That's more fun. I don't want to take any silly, janky tube. All right, so let's run down here. And start plugging the machines in. All the items should be routed. Pipes are... Or not the pipes, but the power lines are back here. Join gunk. And ba bam Let's get right to it. Here we go. There we go. Starting to power up. One reinforced plate. Seems like they've got... Okay, now they're feeding items. They do have like a short power up time window. Now they're crafting. And we're doing a similar thing like I did for the steel foundries. Where we'll have uh, one ingredient above and one ingredient below and just use the vertical lift conveyor lift guys to bring the item above back down all right bunch of screws we got some screws loose bunch of items flowing through okay so that seems to be working they are going to come out on a belt here they're going to go right next door they're also going down to the storage but they're going to go next door and they're going to power some uh, modular frames so let's go back here, power that guy up. There we go. Oh, they don't have any reinf Okay, so they don't have any reinforced plate yet because it hasn't made it down the belt. These are fairly slow. One machine full speed is only five per minute, and I got four. So that's a third of one tier one mark one belt. There they go, right there. Okay, so there they are on the belt doing the same thing here. Do a little slidey jump, get over that guy. Whoop, okay, a little lag. I wonder if that's the autosave whenever the, f the screen freezes for like half a second. Next, on the list, we're making rotors from iron rods and screws. Plug that guy in. All the layouts are pretty similar. They just take different ingredients, which I had to route from the lower levels. The lower level, the lower 
The level immediately beneath us here has gotten a little bit cramped trying to route everything around, but it, everything fit. Everything works. At least it seems to be working so far. There's the iron rods and the screws. Those are making rotors. We use those in a lot of things. Next, after that, we're going to have state doors, which we actually have not started making yet, but we're going to make them now. They're made with steel pipes and wire. Steel pipes are right there coming from... Uh, well, they're coming from the floor immediately above... I, I, I gotta name the floors, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Floor 3? They're coming from floor 3. Wire is coming from floor 4. This is floor 5, I think. Ah, but it's working. Okay, so that seems to be okay. Move on down the line. Next thing we're making is motors, which are made from rotors and stators. Rotors and... Anytime I say those three words, if I only have to say rotor or motor or stator, I'm fine. But I have, if I have to say all three, it gives me a southern accent for some reason. Kind of weird, huh? Rotor, mater, stator, 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 motor. Rotor, motor, stator. Rotor, motor, stator. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Okay. So that is the motors. We're going to be using that for a lot of things coming up once we start using vehicles. And then down here at the end is encased industrial beams. Encased industrial beams is concrete and steel beams. Concrete we are making on the bottom floor with the different smelters because it's kind of like an ingot. It's an ingot made of limestone. So it's down there with those guys. It comes, it's uh, it's crafted from something that comes from an ore patch. And then steel beams. And that's going to give us encased industrial beams, which will be the material used to craft conveyor belt tier 4s or mark 4s, whatever. Once we unlock those, so that'll be pretty important. So there we go. Those all seem to be working. So to get them from up here back down to the storage, we are using these belts way up at the top. At least for the ones at the end. So this is a belt for encased industrial beams right here. And then right here it gets joined by a belt for the motors. And then a little bit farther. It gets joined by a belt for rotors. We're not sending the, uh, the stators to the storage because they're not really used for anything except to make motors. And uh, I think one of the project parts for the space elevator, but we don't need them in storage. They're not used to make any buildings or anything. So those three belts, that's encased industrial beams, the motors and the rotors, those go all the way down to the end. And they get routed all the way down to our storage. Eventually we'll need them above for the next floor. But at the moment we only need to route them down to the storage so we can build buildings with them and other objects. Okay, that all seems to be working. I'm seeing things on belts. Let's give them a little time to uh, saturate the belts. Maybe we can take a look down here. Everything should be operating more... Oh, God. Things should be operating down here more actively because we're using all of these supplies to... Or at least a lot of them to craft all that stuff up there. we got some wire spinning around. There's some cable. There's some iron rods. There's some iron ingots. A lot of belts <laughs> fit in here, but it all did fit in the end. So the easiest way to check that the system is working is to look at all the different labels and make sure they're filled with the items we need. So that's the concrete, that's filling up, that's the reinforced plate, that's modular frame, that's the rotor, that's the motor, that's the encased uh, industrial beam guy. Yeah, okay, pretty good. None of these are going to be going at the full speed. Not all the machines will be operating at capacity like I would like because we've only given each one of these guys one little ore node per ingredient. So these guys are never going to be as fast as they can be until we add more sources. But before we can do that... Oh, finally. I think it's time. It's time to remove the Mirage. But before we do that, let's check the ma'am. Bam! Let me know. Analysis complete. The analysis of medicinal and ailer completed. Please choose new note. Alright. 
You gonna talk? What you gonna say? New equipment? Cool. What's it do? Does it heal me? Or does it, like, is it food? Or is it uh, a cure for, like, poison or something? That's that one checked off. Okay, uh, let's do one of these inventory guys that's going to take a little bit of time. What else did you want? Some alien parts? Some gloop? Yeah, okay, one more of these little gloops. Let's do this one. Start research. And then let me put the remainders back in here. There we go. All right. So, uh, let's take a look at what that inhaler does. Probably made in here. Medicinal inhaler, inhaler, alien organs. We need... Okay, it takes mycelia and organs. I have those. Let's make one so I can see what it does. I don't know if it's going to heal us or if it will be uh, like a cure for a specific malady or poison or something. Oh, there we go. I made one. All right. Doesn't say what it does. Oh, can be inhaled to fully restore health. Consumable. Does it have one use? <gasps> oh, oh, it does. It did have a little one number by it, which makes me think I can make multiple and they'll stack. All right, that's handy. We've got... Better food, that's nice. All right, so let's put this back. Let's put that back. And now, well, this is gonna be so therapeutic. I can't wait to do this. Before we get started tearing everything down, our inventory is going to fill up super fast. So I am just going to put everything I am holding into this container. And everything we pick up is going into that guy. The awesome sink via a storage container. Let's start with, I guess we'll get rid of all the belts. And every belt I take up, I'm going to have those materials added to my inventory. Yeah, that's going to fill up quick. Probably don't want to get rid of the power poles, though. Let's leave the power poles for last. Then we can clean up the power system after everything's out of the way. All right, that was a storage container there. That filled up my inventory. Let's dump all this crap in there. I wonder how many tickets we have. We have currently five tickets. I wonder how many we'll get from dumping everything here into there. And since I already stored all my stuff, I think I'm just going to say store all. Nothing in there should be very important. That looks like mycelia, but it's actually limestone. There we go. We might have to set up multiple of those if I dig stuff up too quick. When I picked up that storage container, it dropped a chest with the extra stuff. So it's not going to stop me destroying stuff. It'll just drop containers. I think these automatically despawn. Yeah, they despawn when you take stuff out of them. All right. Oh, okay. So there's a container. Inventory must be full. I've just been deconstructing nonstop. I wonder how empty this thing got. Oh, it looks like it's still full. Okay, I think I'm too fast for this guy. It's still full. What does it take to make another one of those guys? They are in... Are they in special? Awesome zinc. Oh, I just need reinforced plates. I can get those. No problem. Oh, that's uh, that's not my inventory. That's that's inventory. All right, we need more awesome sinks. All right, double your awesome sink, double your fun. Store all. Two's probably going to be enough, right? This one is emptying out. Now I've doubled my speed. Yeah, that'll probably be fine. Double your awesome sink. All right, delivery number three. One thing I'm curious about is, are the, uh, are the tickets global or individual to the awesome sink? This one says I've got seven. Does this one have zero or all seven? It's got also, okay, it is global. All right, so that's not so big of a deal. If I wanted to be fancy, I could make... No, store all. I could make a third... Yeah, okay, let's do this. I need a dump tab. <laughs> that's going to be my dump tab over here, this guy. And... Oh, I don't have any, any of the ingredients. All right, never mind. That's too much work. I don't need to be picking up ingredients. I need to be dumping them. Store. I was thinking about putting down a storage with a splitter and two belts and yada, 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 but no. 
It's a dumb idea. Let's not do that. Uh, hey, the analysis has finished. Pocket dimension completed. Bam. Inventory space. All right, Pocket let's. Dimension has been inflated. Mm hmm. Okay, let's do the one on the other side. So we need five of those and a thousand of those. I happen to have that sitting right there. Alien organisms. Research. Five minutes. It's kind of weird how empty this feels now. It's going to turn back to a desert, but until I get rid of all these power poles, it still feels like this sprawly mess. It still feels like everything's here, like there's a remnant. Yeah, well, there is. The remnant is the power poles and the little containers. But we're getting rid of those. Yeah, they're going bye-bye. The analysis of Shroom is complete. Okay, so now what do we get when we combine them all? Nutritional... Okay, can I see it, please? Nutritional mixture. We need stators, pipes, and wire. Oh, wow. Guess what? We're making all that stuff, and it's three seconds to uh, research... Okay, let me go grab that stuff, and we can do the research. Three, two, one, go. What does it get? What do we got? A new note is ready to begin new analysis. Okay. Oh. Nutritional inhaler. Rewards medicinal inhaler. But I already know how to make that. What? Medicinal inhaler? Really? Oh. Okay. I guess there's multiple ways to get to it. Well, things are mostly cleaned up here. Got rid of a lot of the redundant power poles, all the belts, all the different machines, all the stuff that was sprawled around is mostly gone, except for the hub and the other things we've been using to make stuff and research stuff and get rid of stuff. We still have the awesome sink. All that stuff's gonna have to move as well. I would like to maintain an ability to get a vantage to look at things from a distance up high, so we're gonna keep this guy right here. But I think what that means, if I want to clean the area up, that means... Let me make sure I don't get launched. Got to make sure I bump into that and not hit the pad because I want to look down. I don't want to fly over top of it just right now. But I think what it means, if we're going to clean things up. I unfortunately have to get rid of this weird sculpture thing, which was very useful. But it's, uh, it's going to be just an eyesore. It's going to be an eyesore. Oh, by the way, from up here, you can sort of see. Don't hit the pad. You can see... How nice it looks that I straightened out these belts. These were sort of hugging the terrain. They were going in a straight line, but they were going up and down. And from a distance, it didn't look straight. So I made them totally straight, totally level up until the point where they have to actually change. So there's less up and down on the belt, and it just looks nicer overall. Have some additional ore nodes. Oh, I fell off. Uh oh, uh oh, uh, I might die. I think I'll die. Nope. Okay, okay, I can save it. I can save it. Bam! Oh, yes. All right, so what was I saying? Okay, we got to get rid of this thing. We got to deconstruct it. Say goodbye, sucker. And then we are going to remove the hub and the ma'am and all this stuff. And we're going to move it to the other side of the base. All right, pick this guy up. Pick that guy up. Pick this ramp up. And then the hub is going to give us that. Oh, I get summer slew. Oh, be okay. I understand. All right. That confused me for a second, but now I get it. So we're going to get the box there on the left. That, I think, is the only thing that really goes into this guy. We're going to get two wires. I think that's because of these two cables attached to these biomass burners. We're going to get those back. And then 3,000 flower petals and three summer sloops, which is a little bit weird. But no, it's not weird. It's because it's what's in here. Okay, we need to transport that. Uh, for now, actually, let me just put some in these guys. Yeah, okay, good. That'll do. That'll do. Summer Sloop doesn't do anything right now for the game, but eventually it probably will. So let's not lose it. I'll put it in my research chest here. This will have to move as well. But for now, it can go there. And now we're getting just the two wires. Okay. So if I ditch that power pole... Yeah, now we just get that one container. And that is the building materials required... To make that thing again. I guess you can only ever have one then. Look how nice and clean everything looks now that we've taken all that stuff out of there. Now we did pick up the hub and the ma'am and the awesome shop and all that stuff. We will need a place to put them. But we're not going to put them on this side of the base. That would be silly. We'd never be able to see the waterfall. So where would be a good place to put all that stuff? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe right in front of the waterfall down on the water. 
in our oasis, our paradise. That's right. We're going to live on this side of the base from now on. It's going to be awesome. Let me jump up here. So I think we'll put the hub right here. Right in front of the water. I'll get rid of that tower. That's just for lining things up and stuff like that. We can look at this all the time. Our our uh, storage guy right up there. You can also do the same. Put the hub down first. Maybe, okay, let's actually do this from the tower. That's why I build these things. Because it's easier to see how things are going to look. If you just have a little bit of a vantage. Alright. And which side is which? I think the, the little bedroom thing is... Maybe, oh, well, I guess I can always just deconstruct it if I don't like it. Okay, so maybe we'll center it in this 2x4. Something like... Uh, that, I guess. Oh, it just instantly blah blah. Okay, so that's the door to the little bedroom thing. Does it matter which way it's facing? I guess if there's only one door on that side, I guess that's a good side to put that on. Ow! Okay, jump up here. Yeah, I guess that's probably fine. That's about as low as we can put it with the slope of that hill. So I probably want one of these. Maybe we'll just do this one. That's probably fine. Just so it's easier to walk up to. There we go. And then we'll put uh, full foundation under there. Like that and like that. And then another ramp there. And actually, I just need to do that. Put the ramp. Spin it around right there. All right. So that is all these guys. Why are these exclamation points? Probably because it's assuming this is the first time we've built this guy. Okay. So now we have a few others to build. In the special tab, we got to put the ma'am and the awesome shop. So this probably, let's have this line up because this is uh, not a site I'm going to enter on. I can technically walk back that way. Let's just put it right about here. Maybe line it up with the edge. Like that. And then the other thing would be the awesome shop. And we also need that little tool guy. That makes us our tools. I guess we'll put it here with the other stuff. And that is in production, I think. The Equipment Workshop. Which I guess a little bit bigger than the MAM. Okay, so we can go kind of like this or that. Oop, and I fell off. Maybe we'll have the awesome shop right there. Open sesame! Okay, this is our new little spot right in front of... Let's get rid of this. I can always put it back if I need a vantage. This is our new little spot. Pretty nice. It would be nice to have a way to get up there to our storage, which I will work on eventually. I need to move all the storagey things. Oh, we need to rebuild our awesome sink, which I don't think is going to be located here, but I do want to grab the tickets out of it. So actually, let me just place one down so I can snag the tickets. No, oh, it needs power? Oh, I didn't think about that. All right, uh, power. Okay, that's good enough. I just want to grab the tickets so we can buy some stuff. We have 19 that we got. Total, after pretty much feeding our entire starter base, well, not the real starter base, the, the fake starter base, into that guy. Why are these guys lit up? Exclamation points, go away, please. Yeah, I know there's no connection. We don't need connections here. Was there a... Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. So, now that we have a good amount of tickets, and we spent a lot of time cleaning things up, let's spend some points. We could get some walls. Eventually, we're going to buy all this stuff. What do I want right at the moment? Conveyor wall mounts actually would have been super useful in the base up there. We will buy those eventually. I think maybe I want some additional foundations to kind of spice the place up a little bit. These look kind of fun. Let's grab those. I've got 11 tickets left. Maybe we need this thing. Okay, let's grab that. Is that 18 tickets? Oh, I'm already spent. All right, cash me out. Bam! One small step for man. One giant leap for golf cart kind. Oh. One small step for mankind, one giant leap for golf carts.
Oh, okay. Overshot it. Bounce? Oh, it bounces. Tony Hawk music. Half flight. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. So, anyway, the desert has been all cleaned up. Starter mess, whatever, is gone. The base is operational, self-sufficient. All of these belts on these lifts are at the uh, the max capacity. Because I've added the additional ore spots and the miners that we need. The base itself still has a lot of jank on it. A lot of construction paraphernalia. Uh, what would you call it? Scaffolding? There's a lot of scaffolding left. Things haven't been entirely cleaned up, so there's a lot of cosmetic stuff to do. But the base is up and running, and if I walk down this... Walkway, we now have a way to get over here. I added lots of walkways all over the place. Gives it a nice look. Let's jump up on this ladder real quick, just to give an overall view of uh, what it looks like after I updated everything and transferred everything over. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. I left a little spot right here for those tubes. Once we get the tubes, we'll start adding those all over the place. But that is going to do it for this video. I'll probably start unlocking some more of the foundations, and we also need the paint gun and stuff like that. So now that this thing is up and operational, we can begin making it look nicer. And we'll work on that as we go. That's going to do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Ah, what a view.